while for the most part I use syntax when writing uh, programs in SPSS to, to do my work. Um, sometimes I still have my hand on the mouse and so I will use buttons and I've gotten some questions about um, what uh, my buttons look a lot different than most people's buttons. Um, so first part is, you know, customizing the toolbars that are there. What I actually do is I delete the, um, I don't use the toolbars they have at all and I just basically build one um, titled Joe or whatever and uh, customize it to what I have in there. The easy quick way um, of course is just to grab things that are already um, available in SPSS. So you, let's say if you used um, the visual bander a lot um, you can just drag it right down to the menu um, and when you hit OK you'll notice where did I put that? Um, right here. So right next to the opening script it'll pop up in there. So there it is. Uh, I don't want to have that in there, so I'll come back here. Oops, sorry. All right, drag it. Ooh, wrong one. Drag it out. Um, so that's the easy way to actually go in, because um, I, I find I use the means, frequencies, descriptives, uh, the, the custom tables a lot, and then some of the more advanced analysis. Um, so then, of course, the question is, what are these buttons over here? Well, I use certain scripts. So like, let's say I'm going to... Um, I run the the means test with statistical testing, and uh, while I could eyeball this and find oh this one's probably significant at the 0.05 level, I have a script that goes through the entire document, whatever has been open here, and highlights um, color codes that the significant anything what I've put up to a, a 0.05 level as the default for the script. If I want to, this one tells me how many variables. There's 172 variables in this data set, the weighting is off. Um, let's say, uh, oh, so this is one I use most frequently is empty, clears the screen. Um, let's go back to here and say, we'll use my describer macro, grab a couple of these, run that. Um, now let's say actually I wanted, for whatever reason, wanted to have this at one decimal place, so my one changes it to one decimal but it keeps the count the same and if I wanted it this changes it back to two but it grabs basically the last table and changes it so again how do we go in and customize this right so this is it's also fairly easy going to customize um, basically what you need to do is create a new tool um, I'm gonna call this example uh, and then you point it to is it a syntax file is it a script file um, don't didn't pick something ahead of time so we'll just say it's a script navigate to your script folder where it is located um, and let's see what's fun here uh, doo -doo -doo. send email with attachment all right so I'm gonna rename this send email Okay, now here's the, another step. So then what you have to do is go under user defined, select it, bring it down to your menu. Okay, now what I like to do is say edit that tool and then I and then I go in and um, sorry, let me get the menu bar over here. Um, I change the picture to be uh, what was the email? So I'm going to make it a terrible looking E and almost an M apply and exit okay so there it is Hit okay so now it's in my toolbar when I click it uh, this should come up and I think it tries to uh, email a file if I predefine what the file is uh, but anyway that's how you add the tool um, add a button to your toolbar in SPSS